guys, what is up? It is Dalton here, and welcome back to Video Game Finds number 31. And this week, we've got some pretty good stuff here, um, and to be quite honest, uh, none of this was found during the week at all. This was all found during the weekend, which is quite crazy because there is a lot of stuff here. And I'll tell you why. Um, this weekend was actually quite busy for me. I had to actually go and help uh, my cousin and her boyfriend move into their new apartment. And um, they had offered me some money to help move their furniture and stuff for them. And um, the thing was, is when I got there... It wasn't just money that I was receiving. It was actually a bunch of video game stuff that they were giving to me for helping them move. And uh, I thought that was the craziest and coolest thing ever. Um, i definitely take video game stuff over money any day for payment like that. So, uh, majority of this stuff that you will see was all given to me. This is all free stuff. Um, I mean, of course, besides the point that I uh, moved stuff and everything this whole weekend, but, um, anyways, this was all given to me as a payment, so, uh, but there is one Craigslist thing here that I did pay in cash for, but the majority of this stuff was all given to me, so we've got quite a bit of stuff here ranging from Xbox, PlayStation, original Nintendo, GameCube, stuff like that, so we'll get into it, so uh, without further ado, let's get started with it. Um, this first stuff here, I actually have... A friend, my best friend as a matter of fact, uh, his birthday is next Saturday, so a little less than a week from now, and um, I haven't found him anything yet, and I figured um, I don't have an Xbox or a 360, and he does, so I figured, you know what, um, since I got this stuff for free, I know it kind of seems weird, but I'd rather give it to him instead of just selling it off, because if I just sold it off, I'm basically selling away a free gift, and I don't feel right doing that. So, instead of selling it, I'm going to give it to my friend for his birthday. Um, and there's a few p uh, good pieces of um, Xbox equipment here uh, and some games. So, I will go ahead and show you the, uh, the couple things here first. Uh, first thing we have here is the uh, battery pack for an Xbox 360 controller there. Uh, no batteries, but I mean, it's the actual piece, so I mean, I'm sure you could probably use that. And the other piece here is an external uh, cooling fan for the 360, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it works. I have no uh, way of testing it. I don't have a 360. So uh, hopefully he'll have some use for it because um, he tends to play quite often on the 360. He's been getting into Dead Island, you know, quite frequently. So uh, hopefully he'll find some use for that. So that's very cool. And then uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show the original Xbox games first and then the 360 games. We have four for each console here, so I'll go ahead and start with the Xbox games. Uh, first one here is Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green. And uh, all these games, uh, to point out, are in brief, basically a brand new shape. Uh, these were well taken care of. I mean, these were all adult owned, so that obviously means, you know, well, you know, treated, hardly played with kind of deals. So, very cool. Um, the next one here is EA Sports MVP Baseball 2005. So yeah, a bunch of these are like brand new condition, like opened up, played once, and then put away is basically how it is. Um, Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly, the director's cut version. And the last original Xbox game here is Stubbs the Zombie uh, in Rebel Without a... Pulse. Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't really tell. It's kind of a long name title there, and it has um, some funky letter in there, so I was like, wait a minute. Anyway, so there's the Xbox games, and then we've got four 360 games here. Uh, first one here is Guitar Hero Aerosmith, and I know my friend loves, you know, Aerosmith and everything anyway, so, you know, that would be pretty cool. I don't know if he has, you know, the Guitar Hero stuff or not, but I'm sure he'd just appreciate it just for what it is anyway. So, very cool. Uh, next one here is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warfighter. And that one looks really good in condition as well. Uh, basically brand new. Uh, next one here is EA Sports Madden NFL 09. Uh, he's not a big football player as opposed to uh, video game stuff here anyway. So, uh, but you know what? It's another game, so I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And the last one here is Dead Rising. And it's got some beat up marks and stuff on the front. I don't know what happened there, but... Uh, the majority of it's there. It's all, you know, complete in the package and everything here in the box. It's 
It's got the manual and everything. Uh, so, and I believe all of these games are complete. So, um, anyways, yeah. So those are all the games and stuff that I will be giving my friend for his birthday. And he's also been trying to find a copy of Donkey Kong Country for Super Nintendo because he loaned his to his cousin and they apparently lost it or something like that. I mean, that his family is kind of, a, you know, the people that just tend to, you know, not care and not do things. And he's the only one that actually does the right thing and cares and everything. So I feel really bad. He loves that game. Every time he comes over, we play that together, everything. And... He's had that game forever, and he lost, and his cousin lost it, and so I've been trying to find him a copy of it. So, but um, if I don't find him that by his birthday, I'll still try to find him one anyway. But uh, the games and stuff that I just showed you will definitely go to him for his birthday. So, definitely very cool. All right, uh, next, um, the majority of this stuff that you will see, uh, actually, I think all of it. Well, yeah, like 95% of this stuff that you'll see from here on out, I am keeping for myself. So, we'll go ahead and go with the NES stuff here. Uh, two NES games, and I didn't realize that um, my cousin's boyfriend actually played NES stuff. Uh, what they had was a, um, a Yobo uh, retro console, which uh, kind of like, you know, the FC Twin, but it was just the, you know, for the NES games. Anyways, they only had a couple games, but um, anyways, what I was trying to, what I was going to explain is that this is half of the stuff that they had that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, the other half went to my other cousin. Um, he's younger than me by a year. He helped move as well. And um, he got the other half of the game stuff. So we kind of did like a half and half deal. He got some stuff, I got some stuff, and that was our payment from our cousin, from my cousin's boyfriend to both of us. So um, I think I got the better half to be honest with you. Because uh, my cousin understood that I was more of a collector. He was more of a player. So he just kind of played, you know, the stuff that I pretty much already owned anyway. So, uh, but anyways, um, on with the Nintendo stuff. Uh, just two NES games here, but they are definitely um, very well worth going into my collection. So the first one here is Metroid. And uh, this is the gray box version, the gray label. I have the yellow one, and I've been looking for this version of it for a long time. So, um, very cool. I'm very happy to finally find this. And it was free. So, that's that just makes it even better. So, very cool. So, I, I guess, you know, waiting enough pays off. So, very cool. So, there's that. And this other one, I already own, but I made my cousin a deal. I said, if I get this one, I will give you my copy at home for it. And the reason I wanted this upgrade copy is, um, I'll show you why. It's uh, The Legend of Zelda, the very first one, Gold Cart. And this thing is immaculate. It is in brand new condition. There is hardly anywhere signs of use, anything on it. This thing is shining very, very bright. It is in very good shape. Um, so yeah, the reason I wanted this was because mine was pretty beat up. Uh, it had some black, you know, markings on it because uh, underneath the gold is a, you know, black uh, overlay of the plastic. So, this was in very good shape when I saw it. Like, I just, like, it was just gleaming in the box. I was like, wow. So, I told my cousin, um, if you let me have this one, I will let you have the one I have at home. Because he doesn't really care about physical condition, really. So, I let him have mine, and so I got this one. So, very cool. And it also came with the manual, and it's in very good shape as well. So very, very cool. So those were really cool to find, especially in the box of stuff. So very cool. Uh, next we have uh, this one thing here real quick. I didn't really realize what it was at the time until I looked at it closer. But it's an instruction manual for an Action Replay Max for the PS2. It's the manual for it. I'm not sure 100% what this is, really. Um, so, anyways, it's just the manual, so, there's that, throw that in, so that's pretty cool. The next thing here is, um, I didn't have this color of it yet, so now I do, and it is the Platinum Silver Game Boy Advance, and it's, uh, in very good shape here, um, minor, minor wear, I mean, it was played with maybe ten times, so, uh, very, very cool. So there's the console there, and it also came with the GameCube Link Cable here. Uh, so now I have two of these. I've, I have one that I've gotten in a GameCube bundle before. So uh, now I have two of them. So very cool. There's that. And then I was digging a little bit deeper 
and I found some manuals for the Game Boy Advance. Here I have the console and precautions manual all in the baggie there. It's got the you know, insert for you know, Nintendo Power and whatnot. So there's that. And then we have a few game manuals for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, the first one here is The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Also includes the new multiplayer adventure Four Swords. Uh, it's a little crinkled, as you can see there. It's a little folded around there because it was laying in the box kind of weird, but it's all there, so very cool. There's that one. Next one is Mario Kart Super Circuit. The rest of these manuals are in very good shape, so. Um, the next one here is Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. And the last one here is the first Super Mario Advance, which is based off of Super Mario Brothers 2. So very cool. Um, I have all those games except for the Zelda one. So that's really cool to have the manuals as well. So very, very cool. Uh, the next stuff here, a uh, couple of cords. I found in there a PS2 power cord here. You can always use extras of those. And the last one here, the other cord, is some AV cables that I could possibly use with an NES. So very cool. These are like the industrial style cables too. They're like really thick. So. Um, Definitely, you know, more industrial grade kind of AVs, but I'm sure they still work the same. So hopefully I can get those to work with an NES as well, so that's very cool as well. And next we have here a fairly thick stack of um, strategy guides. And um, really cool. Um, these aren't, you know, Nintendo Powers. These are more of like the Primas and the... Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, most of them are Primas. And we've got some Brady Games style ones, so... Anyways, I'll go ahead and get started with them. There's probably a dozen of them here, I'd say. Can't really tell. I didn't count them all, but anyways, we'll go through them. The first one here is Metroid Prime. All these are in very good shape as well. Uh, some of them even have, you know, cheat codes and uh, statistics written down in them on uh, pieces of uh, computer paper. So I knew um, my cousin's boyfriend was in really into these games, so... Uh, but I just couldn't believe that he just gave me all this stuff, and I mean, it's insane. But, um... I do appreciate it greatly. So, uh, the next one here is uh, Resident Evil Zero. Yeah, a lot of these uh, these strategy guides are in very, very good shape, and they're uh, really cool looking, too. This one I'm hoping to get into soon. Uh, this is the Assassin's Creed official game guide, the very first Assassin's Creed. And um, it's in very good shape as well. And yeah, the poster's in there as well. It is taken out, as it was probably hung up at one point, but it is back in the strategy guide there, so that's very cool. Next one here is Resident Evil Code Veronica. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is a very thick one too. Um, I've beaten this game a couple times even without the strategy guide. So, but um, I mean, it's cool to have the strat guide, so very cool. Next one here is the Elder, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Very cool. Next one here, this one's pretty cool. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. And this one has the uh, poster in it as well. Same deal, it's probably hung up at one point. It is loose inside there, but it is in there, so very cool. Next here we've got Resident Evil, the first one. Official strategy guide. Well, the I think that's the GameCube version of it. But, you know, like the remake for the GameCube. So, very cool still. Uh, next one here is Bioshock 2. A lot of these uh, manuals, or uh, strat guides are extremely thick. It's crazy. There's a lot of details to these games. And the last one here is Resident Evil, the complete official guide. And that one's in very uh, good shape as well, and it looks really cool. So there's that. So that's all the strategy guides. So uh, next we will go into uh, PS2 games. So here we go. The first three here are actually cheat code discs which I have never heard of before. They're basically, they to me, they uh, come across as like a bootleg kind of thing because they call, they uh, specifically, they even say 100% unofficial on the front of the case here. They come in like DVD cases, but um, they're kind of interesting. I mean, usually you'd see like cheat codes and stuff, just, you know, print them off on the computer or whatever, but these are actual code discs, so it's very crazy. Uh, but we've got three of them here. Uh, the first one here is... Uh, action Replay Ultimate Codes for use with Gran Turismo 4. So there's that one. Next one here is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And the last one here is Need for Speed Underground 2. 
And these are all in like brand new shape. I'm sure they were probably only used uh, once, but I mean, yeah, I've never seen those before. So I thought that was pretty cool that those were in there. Um, I probably won't have any use for those. I'll just, if anything, I'd look up the cheats and stuff on on Google. So I mean, it's not like it's a big deal to have those around, but I mean, they're cool because I've never seen them before. So anyways, there's those. All right, next we have the entire Grand Theft Auto Trilogy on PS2. We've got Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. All of them are complete in there. These are not the, um, it's not the trilogy set. These are actually all just the original first edition copies, but they are all complete there with the manuals. So I thought those were pretty cool. I picked those up because I know I could probably um, trade them off or I could give them to my friend if he doesn't have his anymore because I knew he used to have these, but I'm not sure if he has these or not anymore so I'll, I'll have to talk with him about that see if he needs those um, and the rest of these I do not own yet so I'll definitely be putting them in the collection first one here is Lara Croft and Tomb Raider Anniversary again very nice shape almost brand new next one here is Black I have found this game a couple of times once as a disc only and once as a greatest hits so I finally found it complete black label so very happy for that next one here is Metal Gear Solid 2 a Hideo Kojima game, I think is how you pronounce it. It's just the basic uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. I have another one. Can't remember off the top of my head what 2 it is, but it was like a special, you know, name for uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. It was like a second, like, split off from it. But anyways, there's that one. I don't have that one yet, so definitely add that one to the collection. Next here we have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, just the first Splinter Cell. So there's that one. And the last PS2 game here is Tack and the Power of Juju. And the other Tack game I have is Tack and the Great Juju Challenge. So now I have this Tack game. So there's that. Um, next we have a couple of Wii games here and an accessory. First we have the uh, Wii Slipover cover here. It's basically brand new, never used. And there's also a, um, a battery cover in there for the controller. So uh, basically an extra accessory piece that I could use if I ever needed it. Um, so that's cool. I have those in there. And I have two Wii games here. First one here is uh, Big Beach Sports. Uh, sports, excuse me. Um, this looks kind of like a ripoff of, you know, like Wii Sports or something like that. I mean, it's nothing too high dollar, nothing exciting really. It's one of those kind of games where it was just like produce just to you know get it out there because you know people would buy it on the Wii so that's kind of what this game reminds me of that kind of style so nothing I would probably just get into and just start playing I mean obviously that's not the case here I mean this is kind of one of those low dollar low end games you know just kind of produced quick by THQ so but anyways it's one I didn't have so there's that and the other one here is Dez Ri uh, Dead Rising Chop Till You Drop and this one's almost brand new as well. Um, haven't really played the Dead Rising uh, franchise before, but they look pretty cool. So you know, since it's on the Wii, I can try because I have the Wii. Uh, most of them are on the Xbox, and I don't have the Xbox, so I sh I'm sure they made them on the PlayStation as well. I don't, I'm not remembering that. Uh, I'm not sure, but I bet they did. I'd have to check into it more. But anyways, got it on the Wii, so maybe I could try that one out. And there's one GameCube game here that I didn't have. And uh, it's in very good shape as well. It's EA Sports F1 2002 Formula One Racing. So, very cool. It's like brand new as well. The disc is immaculate. Probably played once again like uh, most of them. So, but very cool. Alright, now we have some PS3 stuff. Uh, the first thing here I could definitely benefit from, and that is an Energizer 2 controller plug-in uh, charging station here for PS3 controllers. Uh, very cool. Um, I just have the basic USB, you know, charging cord from, you know, when it comes with PS3. But I feel that I have more than one controller, and this could definitely, you know, be useful. So, uh, very cool. I'm glad I got this as well. So that's awesome. And then we've got a brand new charging cord for the for the uh, PS3 controllers. So. Uh, two charging mechanisms for the PS3 controllers, so, but this one's never been used, so, um, very cool. So, now I have multiple ways to charge extra controllers if I have to, so very cool. And then we've got two PS3 games here. Uh, one is which I already own, but I have one that is sealed, so now I have an open copy of it, and that is Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. Now, mine I remember buying back in the day when it was, uh, brand new. I got it at Best Buy on Black Friday, uh, sealed for eight dollars so 
I have that one, and that was the Game of the Year edition, so now I have an open copy of Game of the Year edition. Uh, the basic, you know, upgrades for the Game of the Year edition, you know, just gives you some DLC packs and some Bloodbath Arena um, add-on and uh, an extra uh, weapon blueprint, which is the Ripper and stuff like that. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool that they added a couple extra things in the DLC Game of the Year edition. So, uh, but now I have an open copy of it, so very cool. So there's that. And the other PS3 game is, uh, it's nothing exciting at all, but I don't have it, and that is EA Sports Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2009. And um, it's kind of like your Hot Shots Golf, a little bit more uh, strategic, a little more um, complex, I would say. It's kind of um, more realistic than uh, Hot Shots Golf, but uh, definitely a uh, more fun game to play. If you're into golf games and stuff, I definitely recommend these. These are really cool. So check that out if you get a chance. They're uh, pretty cheap now, especially the older year ones. So yeah. Um, oh, there is one more thing I, meant, I forgot to mention that I paid cash for this weekend. I actually went out to a video game convention that uh, Games Ahoy hosted. This was the first time I've ever been to any kind of convention like this, and uh, I thought it was great. Um, they had tournaments set up, they had video games you could just play, they had arcade cabinets that you could play for free, uh, they had vendors that were selling their, um, you know, their merchandise and stuff like that, and, um, stuff like that, so, uh, it was really, really, really cool. Um, I picked up a couple things, uh, because I was mainly there just to check it out mainly, but I did pick up a few things that I could benefit from. And, uh, the admission to get in was, uh, ten bucks, but I felt we, you know, me and my brother, Tyler, and our cousin, uh, who also went with us, um, we benefited from just playing the games. I felt that was worth the ten bucks alone from all the arcade games and stuff that we played. So, um, I spent fifteen bucks at this one guy's booth. Really, really awesome guy. He's probably only a couple years older than me. Um, but he was doing the same kind of stuff that I do, you know, buy, sell, trade, you know, collect, all that kind of stuff. So... I ended up finding a few things off of him that I could use for myself. So the first thing here we have um, are uh, Super Nintendo Power and RF cords here. And I, he said make an offer on them. I offered him 10 bucks, and he thought that was you know, a really good offer, so he took it. So 10 bucks for the cords here, which is really cool. They're official OEM cords, so I am very happy for that. And then we have a few Super Nintendo manuals here that these were uh, 50 cents each. And uh, I felt that was a really good deal, except for one of them. One of them was two bucks, but I'll explain why. But uh, we have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five um, Super Nintendo console manuals right there. And um, they're all in fairly good shape. I mean, they're kind of wrinkled and stuff, but uh, 50 cents each for those, which is very cool. I could definitely uh, benefit from these because I hopefully can find some consoles and... Uh, put them in boxes and stuff and have the manuals for them, so very cool. Uh, I also found this for 50 cents. It's a Super Mario World manual. And he had a ton of these. I mean, he probably had like a dozen Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart um, manuals and stuff. I mean, he had a bunch of these, so I, I understand why they were 50 cents each. He had so many of them. And then this one is the one that was two bucks, and it's rightfully so, because it's more harder to find. And that is the Super Mario All-Star Super Mario World Combo Kart. Uh, manual there. It is a little ripped in the corner there, but you know what? I'm not too worried about that. It's not a big deal to me. The majority of it's here, so very cool. So 15 bucks for the cords in the manuals, and I thought that was an amazing deal because the cords go for 20 alone. So definitely we'll be able to use those in the collection. So very cool. All right. So the last thing we have here. I know I'm rambling on. It's getting a little long again, but um, it was well worth you know showing you guys this stuff, but uh, this last bundle here I have to show you guys I got off of Craigslist today after I went to that convention and um, it is a PS2 bundle and the guy originally wanted 60 bucks from for this whole bundle but it also had a steering wheel um, you know like the power one with the pedals and the steering wheel that you'd use for like Gran Turismo and Need for Speed and stuff uh, he decided to hang on to that because he was um, I offered him like 25 you know, I said I could typically pay 25, 30 bucks for a bundle like that. And he said, I'll tell you what, if I take the wheel away, will you do 25 bucks? And I said, yeah, I could do that. And then he uh, later texted me, he was like, do you ha happen to have an extra GameCube power cord? And I said, I do. And he said, if you 
bring that for the, you know, when we meet, I will do 20 bucks for the PS2 bundle. And I thought that was great because I only paid a dollar for the uh, GameCube power cord. So in the end, I paid $21 for this entire bundle, which I think is awesome. Um, I considered it, uh, there's a couple of PS1 games in here, and then there's a bunch of PS2 games. And uh, I said that the PS1, I, in my personal, you know, re preference, I said uh, PS1 games were 50 cents each, uh, PS2 games were a dollar each, and that left it for the system to be five dollars. So, that's just how I look at it, but um, I'll go ahead and show you the console first here. But here's the uh, PS2, nothing too special, just the standard, you know, fat boy. And uh, it has been opened before, so that kind of worries me. He says it works, but I haven't tested it yet. But um, it's all there, I mean, it doesn't look bad, so it just needs a little cleanup. But hopefully uh, it works, I can trust him, because I've bought an NES and stuff from him before. So this isn't the first time I've dealt with this guy. But um, anyways, there's the PS2 came with the power and AV cords. This was the only uh, bummer about this whole deal. I'll have to put a real controller with it. But it came with this, uh, I think that's Pelican, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Pelican brand uh, PS2 controller. Fairly ugly, in my personal opinion. Um, just the way it feels when you're holding it, it's just not the best. So, um, I'm definitely going to be putting a real controller with it just to be, you know, more generous to this, uh, whoever buys it from me. So anyways, there's the PS2. And then we have a stack of games here, um, and I'll go ahead and show the PS1 games first. There's one PS2 game in here, but it's so scratched up that I just consider it 50 cents because, you know, why not? Uh, but these games are basically all in uh, empty PS2 cases, so I'll probably keep the cases and put the PS1 games in CD cases. So anyways, first thing here is the PS2 game that I was talking about, but it's not really a game. It's official PlayStation Magazine issue number 80 disc and it's in horrible condition, so I might end up just tossing it completely, uh, but I'll keep the case. So there's that. Next we have Destruction Derby 2, which is actually fairly um, good price. So I know it's disc only, but it should fetch about five or six bucks. So there's that. Next one here is NHL Face Off 2001. Um, basically, you know, in the winter you could probably use that for a windshield scraper. <laughs> I've seen that before, uh, people use uh, old CDs and stuff to scratch off the ice on their windshields. Uh, but anyways, uh, Patriotic Pinball is the last PS1 game here. Um, so nothing too fancy. Uh, most of these games actually aren't anything exciting at all anyway. But I thought it was such a good deal with all the games in the console anyway that I couldn't pass it up for 20 bucks. So um, anyways, now all the rest of these I believe are PS2 games. Unfortunately, none of them I will be keeping. Um, just because they're either greatest hits or I already own it, so, or it's missing the manual. But, um, anyways, I'll go ahead and show you these. Now, the PS2 game, first one here, it's actually not a PS2 game either, it's a PlayStation Underground Jam Pack, and I actually might keep this one, I don't think I have this one actually, but, uh, Jam Pack for PS1 or 2, I don't, I'm not positive, but it's actually in a, uh, retro looking GameStop, uh, clear case here, I've never seen this before. So I um, thought that was pretty cool. That was probably back in the day when GameStop was, you know, you know, more towards the beginning of the PlayStation 2 era and stuff like that. So there's that. So I might actually keep that one. Um, and then we've got two disc onlys here. Uh, Medal of Honor, Frontline, and SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Both in this uh, clear sheets case thing. I'm not even sure that's meant for discs. But uh, they wor it works in that. So there's those. Um, next we have SmackDown vs. Raw. And it is missing the manual. There's that one, it's greatest hits. Motocross Mania 3, already own it. 007 Agent Under Fire, already own it, and this is a greatest hits a version of it. NASCAR 07, I would have kept this one, but it is missing the manual, unfortunately, so I'll end up selling that one off. There's that one. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, also again, same story, it's missing the manual. I probably would have kept it, but uh, it's missing the manual, so unfortunately I can't keep that one either. Um, it's not worth it to me because of its, you know, it's not a high-priced game, so it's not really worth it to me. I could probably just find a complete copy eventually anyway, so anyways. Uh, this one here is uh, Bad Boys Miami Takedown. It's missing the manual. A lot of those are missing the manual. I've come across like three of those that are missing the manual. It's really odd. 
But uh, anyways, there's that one. This one I would have kept, but it's completely water damaged on the outside, and that's a very big bummer because this is one I don't have. And it's uh, Cabela's Deer Hunt 2005 season. And uh, otherwise, it's in fairly good shape. The outside is just completely destroyed. Uh, the next one here is Madden 2004. Then we've got Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX 2. And we've got ATV Off-Road Fury 2. And the very last one here is Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And I believe that one's disc only as well. Or like, it's missing the manual. I'm not positive. Yeah, it's missing the manual. Anyways, Grace Hits, I think I already own this anyway, but anyways, there is all the games, and that is all of the stuff for this week, guys. Um, sorry this was probably a little bit longer, but it was definitely worth it, because there was a bunch of stuff in this one. So, um, uh, thank you guys for watching, sticking in there. I appreciate it. I appreciate your guys' support. Thanks for liking, subscribing, uh, sharing it with your friends, all that stuff. The same old stories that you guys hear from me. <laughs> but, uh, thank you guys so much. It's been such a great time with, you know, doing this stuff for you guys, and I enjoy it. I know you guys enjoy it, too. Um... Anyways, I do have the uh, Dying Light uh, Killing Montage video up on YouTube. If you guys want to check that out, it is in my um, channel. It's on its own, you know, has its own playlist, I believe. I think I made a playlist for it. If not, I will do so. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of views yet, so I'm not expecting a whole lot because the game has been out for a while. But anyways, that is out there if you guys want to check out some of that kind of stuff. Um... Anyways, it's been pretty busy this last, you know, few days. I've been helping moving and stuff like that. So it's been pretty hectic for me. But uh, anyways, I was lucky to get this stuff this weekend. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have had a video for you guys this week. But um, I had quite a bit of stuff. So I appreciate you guys for hanging in there. And thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Hey guys, uh, one more quick thing I forgot to mention to you guys. Um, I actually got a few things from my cousin that he wanted me to help him sell on eBay. And I was more than happy to help him with that. And so um, I have a few boxes here. I didn't really feel it was worth showing the whole bunch of stuff in the actual video. So I'll just kind of briefly show you guys real quick what we've got in these boxes. So uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, we actually have a PS2 here with a few games. I think there's like... Um, We've got, uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Prince of Persia, you know, basic stuff, really. Um, some Final Fantasy X, stuff like that. Um, it's got the memory card in there and some controller, or a controller and some cords and stuff. Um, then we've got a Super Nintendo, and I believe there's, like, Donkey Kong Country 3, uh, SimCity. It's got all the cords and the controller there. It's got some, uh, PS1 games there. Um, got some DVDs over there. Then we've got a bunch of Game Boys. I mean, we've got a couple of uh, SPs. They are really dusty. They've been sitting around a long time. And to be honest with you, I didn't even know he had this stuff. But uh, he's got two SPs, I believe. There's one. There's the other one. He's got a Game Boy Color. Uh, some games. Um, that's a DS Lite case. And then under that, we have a box full of N64 stuff. Now this is one I did know he had. Uh, he has four controllers in here. Uh, he's got Ocarina of Time, Mario Party 1, Mario 64, Lego Racer, California Speed, Majora's Mask, uh, Mario Party 2, Mario Kart 64, and another Ocarina of Time down here. Yeah, so he has two Ocarina of Times in there. There's the console. He's got all the cords. And then there's one more box that I'll show you real quick here. Uh, which happens to have two PS1s in it. The big one and the little one there. And we also got the controllers and cords and such. So, that is it guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it is a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. But I thought I would throw this in here at the end. Because, uh... I figured I'd go through it uh, quite briefly. I didn't want to show every little thing that I am selling for him because technically it isn't really a pickup, but it is video game related. So I figured I'd go ahead and show that stuff in there. So uh, anyways, thanks guys, and I will see you next time. Take care. Peace.